Once you learn to read, you will be forever free. Frederick Douglass. Read books. Everyone is giving this advice these days, but no one tells how to read books effectively like billionaires read. Because of this habit, Warren Buffett turned zero dollar into one million dollars at the age of 32, and turned one million dollars into 85 billion dollars. In an interview, Elon Musk called himself a bookwormy child. When he grew up, he used to read up to two books a day. When asked how he learned to make rockets, Musk's simple answer was, I read books, Facebook and Instagram CEO Mark Zuckerberg says. Reading has expanded my understanding on many topics and has given me hope for progress in understanding. If I can read two books in a month, you can too. But the biggest question here is that how do these people read books from which they have got such results? I have divided this video into two parts. First, how do the richest people benefit from reading books? And second, what kind of books do billionaires prefer to read? So let's first talk about the second point. What kind of books do billionaires prefer to read? Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, Bill Gates and all these famous rich and successful people read books, which changes their thinking and makes them the most powerful people in the world. When they were asked for interviews, they told about their favorite books which changed their thinking and made them powerful. First of all, let us talk about the biggest trendsetter of current times, Elon Musk, who works on ideas that seem impossible to the world. He gives the entire credit for starting the SpaceX company too, the Foundation series. This book was written by Isaac Asimov, which is a science fiction novel written around the 1950s. In this book, Harry Seldon, a mathematician, predicts the end of the world and forms a team of scientists and engineers called the Foundation. In an interview with Guardian in 2013, Musk said that if a catastrophic day ever comes in the world, then we should keep another world ready where we can transfer the people here and save humans from extinction. This book inspired Musk and he named his company SpaceX. Twitter co-founder and CEO Jack Dorsey credits the book The Art of Speed for his success. This book was written by Robert Henry and in it he has written about the best artists of America. Dorsey learned from this book how the creative mind works. While giving a speech at a startup event in 2013, Dorsey said that in Silicon Valley any person can make his company successful by following in the footsteps of another company. But to create a different company like Twitter, it is important to think out of the box. Silicon Valley is a place in California, America, where there are lacks of IT companies ranging from big companies like Apple and Google to small companies. At number four is Warren Buffett. When Buffett was 11 years old, his father had an investing shop where he used to invest people's money. Then Buffett's interest in investing started increasing. At the age of 19, he got the book The Intelligent Investor, written by Benjamin Graham. This book is called The Bible of Stock Market and the Philosophy of Value Investing is explained in it. Buffett learned investing by reading this book and said in an interview with Fortune magazine that this book changed my life. If I had not read this book, I would still be delivering newspapers to people's homes. At last comes Mark Zuckerberg. After 2015, Zuckerberg took a challenge that he would read two books in a month and do it for a year. Of all the books he read this year, the best creativity book was Creativity Inc. This is written by Ed Catmull. Ed Catmull was the co-founder of Pixar Animation and its president for 20 years. Zuckerberg said that this book inspires him so much that he had. Done is better than perfect. Written on the wall of his California headquarters. All right, let's talk about the first point. How do the richest people benefit from reading books? First, they make time. Billionaires make time for reading because they know it's crucial for success. Take Bill Gates, for example. He reads 50 books a year. For him, reading is as important as any business meeting. He blocks out time in his schedule every day to read, without fail. This habit isn't just for relaxation. It's a way to keep learning and growing. If you want to improve your life, you can start by dedicating 30 minutes each day to reading. Pro tip, choose a quiet and clean place and keep every distraction away from yourself while reading a book. Think of it as an investment in yourself. Whether it's a paperback, an e-book or an audiobook, the format doesn't matter. What's important is making it a consistent habit. Just like brushing your teeth or exercising, reading should be part of your daily routine. By setting aside this time, you open yourself up to new ideas and perspectives. Over time, these small, daily sessions can significantly boost your knowledge and wisdom. You'll be building your own mental wealth, just like a billionaire. So, start today. 
Block out 30 minutes each day for reading and watch how it transforms your life. They take notes. This is what Bill Gates says. When you're reading, you should make sure you're taking notes in the margins and really concentrating. Especially if it's a non-fiction book. You have to combine new knowledge with what you already know, and taking notes helps me make sure that I am really thinking carefully about the things that are in the book. Successful people regularly take notes to remember important information better. Whether using a notebook or an app, they jot down key points while learning or reading. This habit helps them track what they've learned and reinforces their understanding by reviewing notes. It's like building a solid knowledge base they can rely on. Taking notes also helps them organize thoughts and understand complex information. By summarizing key points, they break down large amounts of information into manageable pieces. This makes it easier to grasp and apply concepts later on, whether from books, videos or lectures. Overall, note-taking is a valuable strategy for successful people to enhance learning and maintain clarity in their knowledge. They focus on learning. When billionaires like Warren Buffett pick up a book, it's not just for entertainment. It's all about learning and staying sharp. These savvy investors know that knowledge is power and they're constantly hungry for new insights to stay ahead in the fast-paced world of finance. Buffett, for example, dives into financial reports and business books religiously, soaking up every detail to make informed decisions that shape his investments. For those looking to level up their own knowledge game, the key takeaway is simple. Choose books that add real value to your skills and understanding. Think of it like building blocks for your brain. You want books that teach you something new and practical. Whether it's learning about personal finance, mastering negotiation skills, or diving into the latest trends in technology and entrepreneurship, each book you read should contribute to your growth. By focusing on books that add value, you're not just filling up shelf space, you're investing in yourself. This isn't about speed reading through a library. It's about picking books that resonate with your goals and interests. Just like Buffett scans through financial reports to find nuggets of wisdom, you can choose books that help you navigate your career, improve your financial literacy, or even inspire new ideas for business ventures. So next time you're browsing for a good read, think about what you want to learn and how it can help you succeed. Whether it's one book a month or a dozen a year, each page turned is a step towards building a smarter, more informed you. They apply what they read. Jeff Bezos and other successful people turn what they learn from books into real life actions. Bezos used ideas from books on business, customer behavior, and technology to grow Amazon. He applied lessons from these books to solve Amazon's challenges, helping it become a leader in e-commerce and technology. One key strategy Bezos learned was focusing on long-term growth and customer satisfaction. Books on customer-centric models and innovation shaped this approach. Leadership and innovation books also influenced Amazon's culture and its drive for improvement and invention. To use book knowledge in your life, Start by finding lessons that match your goals. Whether it's about time management, leadership, or personal finance, the next step is to put these lessons into practice. For example, if a book offers tips on effective communication, you can try these techniques in daily interactions or at work to improve relationships and influence. Many successful people have used book knowledge to reach their goals. Oprah Winfrey credits books for shaping her worldview and helping her build a media empire. These stories show how diverse knowledge from books can inspire creativity and success in different fields. To apply what you read, set specific goals based on your reading, like starting new habits or improving skills. Keep a reading journal or digital notes to remember key insights. Lastly, make reading a daily habit, even if it's just for a few minutes. Want to know what happens when you read books just before bed? Check out the video on the right to find out. Thanks for watching.